everyone. Uh, today <clears throat> we're starting a new chapter. This is uh, chapter 13, uh, 13-1. And chapter 13 is about the order of operations. Now, that's really what that means is just the order in which we will mathematically evaluate. Important word. When you see the word evaluate, that means to solve. And it's the order in which we do certain operations either multiply divide add or subtract these are the operations that we do and there's a particular order in which we do them when we evaluate now the a fancy way to remember the rules and i'll attach another video to go with it that's kind of fun but a, uh, a fancy way to remember the rules is by something called pemdas Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And this is the order of operations. And you might want to write this down somewhere because it'll help you remember the rules and the order in which you have to do uh, to go or to do your math in order to solve these problems. So uh, the first word is parentheses. Now, parentheses is the first thing you're going to do. In, in order to solve, you will always solve what is in the parentheses first. Okay? And then, and that could also mean braces or brackets. Okay? You're going to do them, whatever is inside of it, you're going to do that first. For example, if you saw something that said 4 times 3 plus 2. You would do what's inside the brackets first. You would do four times three and get 12, and then you would add two, okay? So parentheses is always first, okay? That's, that's really step one. If you then look at your problem, and if you see that there are any exponents, you do them next, all right? And we're not gonna dive into any exponents particularly today, um, so you don't really have to worry about that. Right, but we will start to, to uh, incorporate those tomorrow. Okay, And then the next two are kind of interesting. The next two are interesting because multiplication and division, and addition and subtraction, you kind of do them in a certain way. Okay, If there's multiplication by its, and, and addition or subtraction, you do the multiplication first. But if there's multiplication and division, you're going to go left to right. meaning you're going to solve it in order that it's written from left to right. Now, for example, let's just say you had a problem and the only thing left was multiplication. Well, I'll show you. Uh, let's say it was um, 2 times 3 divided by 2. Because it's only multiplication and division, we're going to go left to right. So we're going to go 2 times 3 first, which is 6, and then we're going to divide it by 2 and get 3. Okay? In the same way if the division was first. And this that also goes for multiple, for addition and subtraction. For the addition and subtraction, the same thing. You're going to go left to right. If it's just addition and subtraction. If there are other parts to the problem, uh, let's uh, I could show you one here. Let's show you... Um, if I did 5 divided, and I'll do a bunch of these, 5 divided by 5 plus 4 times 12. Okay, so if we're looking at this and we're trying to solve it in order with the order of operations, what we're going to do is, okay, let's see, there's no parentheses, there's no exponents, there is multiplication. So this is what I'm going to do first. See, because there's addition, I can't go left to right. I have to do the multiplication first. So I know that 4 times 12 is 48. And I'm going to rewrite everything as is. Now there's division. All right. So I'm going to take the division first and do 5 divided by 5 and get 1. And then I'm going to add the 48. And my final answer would be 49. Okay. So I would copy this down somewhere. But a quick way to remember it is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or PEMDAS. Okay, and I'm going to write PEMDAS on the side as we do each problem. All right, so let's give a couple, let's, let's try a few, and I think you'll get the hang of it. It's not too difficult.
Okay, so PEMDAS. All right, let's try the first one. Right, so let's say we have eight times. Okay, so here's what we have. Here is our expression, and here's what we want to solve. All right, we'll evaluate. So the first thing we're going to check is for parentheses. Do we see parentheses? Yes, I see parentheses. So I'm going to look inside the parentheses, and I'm going to do this first. So 3 plus 4 is 7. Great. Now I'm going to bring everything down, and now after I rewrite it, what do I have? I have a new expression. All right, I have a new expression. Now my expression has multiplication and division. And we said, if it's just multiplication and if it's just division, we're going to go left to right. So this is just multiplication. This is just division. So we're going to go left to right. So we're going to do 8 times 7. That's 56. And then we're going to divide that by 2. And that's 28. And if you didn't know what 56 divided by 2 is, you would do it on the side. And you would get 28. Okay, that's it. So this is when you evaluate the expression, you get 28. All right, let's try another. And leave the PEMDAS up there. Let's try another one. Try to leave the PEMDAS up there so I can slowly erase this. Okay, so let's do 7 times. Okay, so now we have brackets and parentheses. So we're going to look inside the brackets. These are the brackets. These are the brackets. We're going to look inside the brackets. Oh, there's parentheses inside the brackets. So this is what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to do 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1 is 5. And now I'm going to rewrite my expression and put my brackets around it. Now I'm going to evaluate the next step. It's going to get smaller. It kind of makes like a triangle when you're all done. So I'm going to do what's inside the parentheses or inside the brackets. It's 7 times 5. That's 35. And then all I have left to do is add 100. And that's 135. Done. Easy. So far, so good. Let's try another. Okay, let's try, um, how about 17 plus 4 times 3. Okay, now this one only has two operations in it. It only has addition and multiplication. Well, if we go in order of PEMDAS, the multiplication is before the addition. So we're going to do 4 times 3 first, and then we're going to add the 17. And then if you add 17 and 12, you're going to get 29. That's your answer. Again, order of operations, the order in which we solve problems. Okay. Let's try another one. Let's try 8 plus 1 plus 9 times 7. Okay, so now this, same thing. Do we see parentheses? Yes. We're going to solve the parentheses first. 8 plus 1 is 9. I'm going to rewrite the rest. Okay, now I only have addition and multiplication. Well, multiplication is before addition in the order of operations. So I'm going to do this first, not the 9 plus 9. I'm going to do the 9 times 7. I'm going to get 63. And then I'm going to add that first 9. And I'm going to get 72. All right. 72. All right, so now that's pretty simple. I have this. I'm going to guess I'll save this last one for last. It's kind of hard. Let's do, I'll skip ahead because I got a really good one. Save that one. 39 plus 6 divided by 2. Okay, order of operations. Division, division is before addition in the order of operations, which means I'm going to do 6 divided by 2 first and get 3, and then I'm going to add 39. And 39 plus 3 is 42. Done. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. 
no issues. Uh, the best way to practice, the best way to get good at these is simply just to continue to practice. Uh, they can be kind of fun. Brain teasers. They can be really long. You know, and the way they get you is there are cause sometimes when you have multiple choice for these, there could be multiple answers because there's multiple ways to solve them. But when you guys start out, you'll see uh, you, your numbers will look a little bit crazy unless you're doing it in the right way. So if you see stuff getting crazy, you know you're not doing it in the right order. All right, let's check for uh, the parentheses first. I see that we have brackets. So I see there's a bracket here and there. So I'm going to look inside that and there's parentheses. So we do this first. Three plus one is four. And then I'm going to rewrite everything inside the brackets, which is the four times two. And I'm going to do four times two, which is eight. And then I'm, I can get rid of the brackets because it's I've evaluated everything inside of them. And now I can do 24 divided by 8, which is 3. All right? Very simple. Last one that I'll try with you today. And I'll give you one to try on your own and post on the stream. Now, the one I'm going to give you now is going to look a lot crazier than it is. But that's the fun of it. And I wish we were in school for this because we would have our... Pem, our order of operations relay races and they're super fun uh, okay so let's do this four times three one my two plus three times six okay so you see all we have here is we have a few layers of brackets all right so you focus yourself in all right bracket bracket okay i gotta go in deeper bracket bracket. Okay, what's inside this bracket? All right, I'm doing this first. So 4 times 3 is 12. And then that all goes inside the bracket. And then I just rewrite everything that I have so far. Okay. And I look inside these brackets again. And now what do I see? Inside this bracket, inside this bracket, I see 12 divided by 2 inside the bracket. So I'm going to do that first. 12 divided by 2 is 6. And then I may rate my brackets. Now I'm going to do my 6 plus 3 in my brackets and get 9. And then do 9 times 6. And I'm going to get 54. Okay. So not hard. Um, you know, you got to do everything within the order of operations. Okay. I got one for you to try and for you to post on the stream. All right. And let's see how good you are. All right, so remember the order of operations is PEMDAS. And answer this on the stream, post your answer. And I'll see you later.